Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my August favourites. I can't believe that August is over. I just don't know where this year has gone, but I guess it's over. It's September now. Um, we're almost to Christmas, I feel like. I feel like we're almost to Christmas. I have no idea how. Anyway, so today I'm going to do my favourites. I've got some makeup, I've got some hair, I've got some skin, and I've got some fashion favourites. So let's get started. Okay. So first I thought we would start with makeup favourites. So base wise I have been loving BB creams this month. I have absolutely been loving just that really natural look of not really wearing a lot of makeup, feeling like my skin can breathe and also I've been having a lot of problems with my skin this month, a lot of trouble areas and so I've been really loving BB creams. Um, the three that I've been using have been, um, you guys probably saw these in my body shop haul. I've been using them non-stop ever since. So that is the Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream in 01, which is what I'm actually wearing today with the all-in-one BB Cream in double zero underneath it. This just helps to even out my skin tone and this just gives me a little bit more coverage. If my skin was behaving a bit better, I'd probably use this on its own, but together they are beautiful. Um, or I have absolutely been loving my Dr. Jart Black Label Detox BB Cream as well. Um, loving this, absolutely, it gives you probably a medium coverage, much higher than the other two, a little bit more tan than the other ones as well, um, but this one's got SPF as opposed to the other ones don't. I've also reordered my Skin 79 BB Cream, so that will hopefully be coming in the mail soon because that is one of my favourites of all time, and I don't know why I stopped ordering it. Uh, continuing on with the face, uh, for cheeks, I have absolutely been loving my... Um, Argan Color Stick by Josie Moran in Spice. It is this absolutely beautiful matte kind of color. It just gives the most beautiful sheen. That's it there. Look at that. You can use this on your cheeks and your lips and it just blends out into just such a beautiful flush. If you guys can see that, it's so gorgeous. Um, it is kind of like a rosy apricot and it smells like roses. It's beautiful. Next, sticking with the Josie Moran, is the Argan Illuminator. Um, I use this mix wing with my BB cream or my foundation, or just as a highlighter, or even an eyeshadow because it is very pigmented. Um, I'll show you a swatch there as well. As you can see, it is quite thick, um, and it does blend out into the most beautiful sheen of colour. Like that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Um, obviously this would look much nicer with the tan, but it does suit my pale skin as well. It is absolutely stunning and it just gives you the most gorgeous glow. I love using it as a eyeshadow as well as a highlight because it's just so lovely. Um, the last two makeup products I want to talk about are the my concealer, which is the Dr. Hooshkas. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Concealer in 01. Um, I'm not sure 100% what the actual concealer's name is, but it looks like this. It has a twist up um, to get the top, all these little bits come out. Perfect colour for me. Stays all day. Smells nice and is 100% natural and organic and beautiful. Um, and this I bought online and I'm really, really happy with it and I would definitely buy it again. Uh, last makeup product is my Steeler in the No Palette. Um, you guys have seen me use this in countless tutorials. It looks like this. It is absolutely beautiful. In specifically, I have absolutely been loving this shade, Clay. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is this absolutely beautiful dusty pink colour that I have been I have just been obsessed with this month. Um, and just putting that and making that just an all over lid colour and a little bit underneath just gives me a really nice flush of colour. Um, sticking with the beauty type favourites, next I'll go into um, hair favourites. So my hair favourites for the month have been my Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is in the Floral and Flirty Blush. This is like a super size version that was like $10. Um, I've actually really been liking this. I like the smell. I don't normally use dry shampoo because I don't tend to have an oily scalp, but uh, lately... I just haven't been washing my hair as much as I normally do, and I don't wash it that often anyway, but this just gives me a little bit of a lift. It just makes my hair look a little bit more fresh and clean and lifted as opposed to sometimes it can just get really weighed down because I have a lot of hair. Um, this just helps to fix that. It's really nice, and I don't find that it leaves a, lot, a white cast if I rub it in properly. Um, so I'll spray it in, 
and let it sit for while I'm doing my makeup or anything like that and then I will brush it through with my next product which is the wet brush I am obsessed with this at the moment I'm sorry if you guys can see hair in it I did use it this morning um, I have two of these that is how much I like this I have the purple one as well in my shower this is amazing for brushing your hair when it is wet when it is tangly when it's curly when it's dry anything this is really nice it's got really long bristles and they're really flexible so it doesn't tug on the hair so this is really good it was like nine dollars in Target in America I highly highly recommend it um, continuing on with the hair favorites um, I have been having some issues with my hair recently being really shedding a lot more shedding a lot more than it normally would and feeling like it's a lot more brittle and so I have been hearing a lot of things about head and shoulders and I also have fairly dry scalp as well so I thought that you know I used to use head and shoulders when I was younger and then I got older and thought I would try something new so I thought I would go back to it and I bought I got the head and shoulders hair and scalp hair retain to help reduce hair fall due to uh, breakage for men um, now this may be strange that I got a men's shampoo but it doesn't smell like a men's shampoo it just smells menfully which is really nice but it is fantastic my hair I have noticed so much difference in using this in my hair with the breakage with the fallout it's just so much thicker so much nicer so much fuller and I'm really really happy with this this whole bottle was like nine dollars and it has a pump and it's just really good I'm absolutely loving it along with this I have been using the Joyco K-Pack conditioner to repair damage um, I have been this is a huge bottle that I got from Coles this one was about $39 um, but it is huge it's the one liter bottle and I'm loving this this is just helping so much with my hair combined um, I've also been using a couple moisturizing conditioners but I haven't picked a favorite yet and so they might be in my next favorites or if you guys want a hair care routine or something like that I can uh, do that for you and tell you what ones I'm using for moisture but this is mostly for protein building so this is good for repairing your hair and then I will use something to moisturize afterwards but I've absolutely been loving this um, the last thing I want to talk about as a shower product is my body scrub and I am obsessed with the scent of this product. Oh my gosh. Um, this is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Oat Sugar and Shea Breakfast Scrub. It is amazing. Um, as a scrub, it does a great job. It makes my skin feel really soft and smooth. But the smell, the smell. It smells like the sugary candy apple type treat that you just want to eat. And you shouldn't eat it because it wouldn't taste very good but it smells amazing and I would buy this again even if it was a crappy scrub for the smell but thankfully it's not crappy it's beautiful and I really really enjoy this um next I'll try out chuck in a random perfume favorite this is the perfume oil by the body shop uh, I also hauled this recently and this is the Japanese cherry blossom one and I adore this I just pop a little bit under my neck and on my wrists and I can smell it all day because it's an oil so it lasts on your skin and I just love the smell. It's so fresh and floral um, and it just it just smells really, really lovely. They come in a number of um, type scents of these. I really like the vanilla one as well but if you guys see these, check them out. This is about $17 I think it was and you get a lot of an oil and you only need a tiny bit. Um, last but not least, let's move on to fashion favourites. I've never done fashion favourites before, but I'm having a few that I've really been enjoying. So, uh, first of all is midi skirts. I've absolutely been loving, I've got a couple of them. This is just one. I've got a couple of them, but I'm absolutely obsessed with midi skirts. Um, I love the pattern on this one, obviously. I've got a few, but in general, I'm obsessed with the style. I love the look of them, I think they're so sophisticated, so elegant, so spring appropriate, but also good for the warmer and colder months because you can dress them up with a shirt or with a singlet. I'm obsessed with it. I'm also really, really loving this dusty pink color at the moment, which is basically the color of this eyeshadow, this clay shadow that I enjoyed earlier. Um, I am absolutely loving that color. I love that color in absolutely everything. I have shirts, I have skirts, I have everything I can possibly imagine in that color because I'm really, really enjoying that with grays. So the, the dusty pink and the grays are my favorite colors. And last of but not least, is a really strange one, and you guys are going to be like, 
Okay, that's weird, but it is sticky bras. Um, I have been wearing a lot of strapless things or bodysuits or um, even off the shoulder type things that I really don't want to wear a bra with straps with because I, you could be able to see it and it's just going to ruin the look of the dress or the, or the skirt or whatever I'm wearing. And I've been loving these. These ones I just bought from probably like um, Body Shop, not Body Shop, Cotton On or Bras and Things or you could probably buy them from just Target or Kmart. Um, and they're just sticky and they just stick on and they stay on all day. And because they're the material ones, they don't slide off like the rubber ones do. Um, and that's it. That is all my favourites for this month. I hope you guys had a fantastic month. I hope your September is amazing. And um, stay tuned because my next video will probably be a how to style midi skirts. So I had a friend talk to me about this when she came to visit. And she was saying that she would absolutely love to see how to style them because she has no idea. So I thought that it would be a fun video because they are in trend at the moment. And I'm just going to get a couple more so that I can, you know, for the video guys, for the video. But anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe for regular videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!